What's up legends, LGG Alden here, so I'm back with episode 4 of my Game Maker Tutorials. Today we're going to be making sort of a basic creature, enemy sort of thing that will follow your player, and yeah, for now that'll be it. So, we'll start off by creating a sprite, we'll name it SPR underscore enemy. So, edit sprite, we'll make this one 32 by 32, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. So for this, we'll make him a, let's see, what should he look like? Be a, uh, I want to say a circle, because that's what you are. Um, or that's what my player is. He'll be, I don't know, let's just make him, oh wait, what? No, wait, make it small size, there we go. Okay, so we'll make them like, we'll make them a rectangle, and we'll fill them with red. There we go, and give him some eyes. Close enough, okay, should be fine. And we'll even give him some little angry looking eyebrows. Perfect. That looks perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll center this one because it'll be like the player. Now, for this, we need to create the object obj underscore enemy. Yeah. Give it a sprite. Now, for this, we'll need what is it? Create event. SPD equals. It'll be slower than the player. Three. Now, he basically, okay, so here's what we could do. Save time. Now, we can go into the step event, and we can copy this. We almost could have just duplicated the player, but whatever. So make a step event. Now, paste, you can paste that. So here's what we're going to do. So, get rid of the key presses, and also get rid of, okay, so... Hmm. Okay, so here's what we'll do for this. So for this, we need to make it so it follows the player. So let me think. How can we do this? We'll do it. I think. Let me see if there's follow. No, it's not anything. It's, I think there's this. Move towards point. Okay, so move towards point x y and speed so the <coughs> mm, sorry the x will be obj underscore player dot x so that's calling to the object player and it's finding its x do the same thing for the y obj player dot y and then spd is the speed now what we'll do though for checking collision so so it can't go through walls. It'll be uh let's see. So actually yeah, here's what we can do. We'll do we'll kind of put all of these into a similar spot. So we'll do this and we'll do this one. Now there's a lot of ways you can do enemy collision and odds are is this might have to change if something doesn't work or if the collision isn't good enough for it. So we'll just stick with what this is for now. Okay, so it checks the four collisions and then basically if it's not colliding into any walls then we'll just have it run the move towards player. Okay, so Actually, not and. Wait, yeah. No. Hmm. Let's just run it. Let's see how this goes. So, test. So we'll put a little object enemy here. We'll put some of them behind walls. And then some in the open. Let's try it. I don't know how this is going to work. What will happen with it. But we'll just try it out. No, I can go through them. But as you can see, they follow. They'll follow me at their speed, which is slower than mine. Okay, so what we're going to need to do... 
Let's try it and see what's wrong. Okay, so it's checking if place free there, if place free there, if place free there. So if all four places are free, then it'll move. But, hmm. <coughs> mm, sorry. Better yet, let's just do, let's do the simple way to this. We'll do move towards point. And this is where you don't have to always use code for things. You can sometimes take the easy way and use drag and drop features. So for this, this is just going to be for basic enemy collision for now. I'll rewrite some of this stuff later and in tutorials. And I'll probably do another tutorial on more advanced version of enemy collision. So for this one, we'll do bounce, I believe, right? Yeah, bounce. Okay, so precisely I don't think that even honestly matters against solid objects okay so in the step event so now it'll bounce off of solid objects so this is going to be the walls yeah okay so even though it's not that it kinda runs all weird it'll still work and eventually we can do a more advanced AI system where it'll like one run around the walls or figure out where the walls are and it'll move and try and like find a, a smarter way around it so yeah but for now so like as you can see they'll kind of eventually they can kind of figure their way around walls but it's not too advanced for now and they are slower than me but I think that should be fine for now for a tutorial for basic enemy movement and we can work on making them be able to attack the player and making them making the player be able to attack them or like a health system and all that but that'll probably be in a later tutorial but as of now that'll just be the basic AI for the enemies so but thanks for watching guys that should be it and like I said in other tutorials if you have questions or anything goes wrong and you need help comment it I'll try to help you also, you can comment anything you want to see in future tutorials, and I'll hopefully get to it. But thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.